Hey everybody, welcome back. We are doing our unboxing of the huge PNC order that I just got in. Uh, we're gonna be going over everything, no particular order, just kind of going over everything that I got and then what we're gonna be reviewing soon. I also have a couple of extra additions from a local shop, so I'll be adding that in as well. So let's get started. Oh, let's put this down. So first off, most of these uh, I have either cracked or tried already, and then we're gonna be continuing the review later. So I got Cornelian Deal Briar Fox. I got Cornelian Deal Pirate Cake. Then we got uh, GLP's Stonehenge Flake. Really looking forward to smoking this. I haven't smoked it yet, uh, but I've read a lot of stuff that said that this is a lot of people's cellar reserve, so. Here you go. Then we did get a three pack and I think the other one's hiding down here from me. Let's see. Yep, there we go. We got the Gurkha three pack. So we have Rare Breed, Urban Legend, and Retribution. I enjoy Gurkha cigars. So I thought that it would be nice to review their uh, pipe tobacco and see how it is. Also, going on to one of my top companies right now is Sutliff. Now, uh, as you guys will all become very familiar with, my top pipe tobacco right now is East Farthing from Sutliff. If you have not smoked this, just smoke it and give it a try. Uh, if you go by any of the other reviews that you see online, this stuff is like lighting up a nostalgic bowl of the first time that you ever smoked smoked or even the first time that you ever smelled someone around you smoking pipe tobacco this is it right here then we got uh blue danube from sutliff as well we got the taste of summer which is nice and hot here already so this will go good Then on the other side, uh, I don't think that I have the other box in here. Uh, I think I set it aside for a test. Uh, I've never had anything from Seattle Pipe Club. So I went ahead and got Plum Pudding, which is another one we're gonna review. And then I also got the Plum Pudding uh, Bourbon, let's see, Bourbon Barrel Aged. This stuff is fantastic. I love this stuff. We also have Cornel and Deal Bayou Night. And then we also got Bayou Morning. Might as well try them both. Still on Cornell and Dill, we got Small Batch 8 State Burley. Absolutely love this stuff. Huge Burley fan. Then we got two, let's see, three other cans here. So we got the Crumble Cake from Sutliff, the Barrel Aged Number 3. Then, because if you can't tell from my arms and the Elvish going up that I have in Tattoo, a uh, huge Tolkien fan as well. And this was supposedly the one that he smoked the most, if not the one that he almost always smoked, which was Capstan Ready Rub, just the blue. Then we have Peterson Elizabethan Mixture. And it would be really interesting. I've seen a lot of reviews saying that people that are purists with Dunhill before Peterson bought them out, that they enjoy Dunhill more. So hopefully I'll be able to get a hand or get a can of the Dunhill and I'll be able to compare that as well. Then from Sutliff, we got the Alexander Bridge. And I think that's gonna be it for the bigger stuff. Now, the ones that I've already cracked, we have Voodoo Queen, one ounce from Sutliff. And then this is going to be the aged Maduro Cavendish that we'll review from Sutliff as well. This is Mark Twain from Sutliff. And the other Sutliff one that we have cracked, which is very good, is let's see i think it's this one here yep and this is the mixture 79 i'll definitely be buying a big 10 of this is very good then we have the christmas spice from sutliff and i 
apple from Sutliff and the vanilla custard from Sutliff. And I believe that takes us all down to the big ones that we have here. Our box is done. There are two other big ones that I have that are probably some of my favorites because I bulk ordered them. So we bought 16 ounces of Billy Bud, and that one is another one from Cornell and Deal that we'll be reviewing. And also Autumn Evening. I got the, I think it's the 16 ounce 10 of Autumn Evening.